restrictions for visitors of inmates at the Bristol County Jail. Friends and family will no longer be able to see their loved ones face to face. Sounds like punishment, but the jail insists it's a safety measure. Louisa Moeller joins us live tonight from the Satellite Center with the latest on this story. Louisa? Paula, as you might imagine, civil liberties advocates aren't exactly on board with this, but a jail spokesperson says video chats are already being used in facilities across the country. Segregated from the world by fences and barbed wire, inmates at the Bristol County House of Corrections will soon lose another link to the outside, in-person visitations. Instead, family and friends can visit their loved ones from inside this tan trailer just a short distance from the jail. Face-to-face -face chats, once conducted through plexiglass, replaced by video chats on these screens with phones used to hear conversation. Like people will be assigned a PIN number, you know, the, the security officer will help them with that. Jail spokesperson Jonathan Darling says it's a move to cut down on the cost of security and prevent contraband from getting to prisoners. Inmates and the people that on the outside, they have all day to, to plan, you know, how to get things into jail. We've seen visitors come in with suboxone strips under a Band-Aid and then stick the Band-Aid under the counter of the visit room you know, and hoping that uh, an inmate worker will come through and pick it up. But the ACLU calls it cruel, saying, as any Skype user can tell you, video communications may provide a benefit to people who are far apart or unable to travel, but it's no substitute for being in the same room with a person you love. Bristol County Sheriff Thomas Hodgson is no stranger to controversial policies. He recently offered to have his inmates build President Donald Trump's border wall. And in 2010, Hodgson was ordered by the Massachusetts Supreme Judicial Court to stop a program charging prisoners a $5 a day fee for their stay behind bars. With more than 500 U.S. prisons experimenting with video visitation, according to the Prison Policy Initiative, Darling says this isn't controversial, it's common sense. There hasn't been person-to-person -person contact with visits in almost 20 years. Now, soon enough, the jail hopes to introduce technology where family and friends can video call inmates from their homes. While chats from the on-site trailer are free and will remain free, at-home calls would cost the caller. Live in the Satellite Center, Louisa Moeller, WBZ News.